One of the things about the Raspberry Pi is it forgets what the date and time is every time it's powered off. So what you can do is you can make a, a little real-time clock module so that when the Raspberry Pi is powered down and then powered back on again, uh, the module remembers the date and time. This is just made from a DS1307 integrated circuit. It's got a crystal on, on, on it to, uh, to, uh, so that it can measure seconds. And it's got a, a battery on top, which is just a button cell battery. And I've added uh, a little LED which also flashes every second as well because there's an output on pin 7 which you can get to um, cycle every one second. Uh, these, these bits aren't required though, you could actually just make the unit out of a battery, an integrated circuit and a crystal. This is my uh, Raspberry Pi OpenLEC XBMC media player. Uh, the module can be used with a standard Linux like Raspbian or Arch Linux and it can also be used with the OpenLEC version of XBMC. Um, it just the module just plugs on to the first six pins on the left hand side of the um, of the GPI connector. So this is a connect one that I've put here. And all I have to do is plug that in there. I'm going to power up the Raspberry Pi and allow the system to boot. As you can see, the LED isn't flashing at the minute. Um, this is the, the state when there's nothing in the memory. There's no time or date set. And uh, so this is the kind of state you'd have if the battery had just gone been replaced. When the system's uh, booted, I'll do it on the initializer system, first of all. OK. So what we do is we use the command line uh, to set the t time and date on, on the operating system. Date minus X is your standard Linux command. And then we use the forward slash I option on the actual module software, which initializes the date and time in the system. And as you can see, the LED is flashing now, showing it's got the date and time. And using the command line again uh, and the software, if we use the forward slash G option, it shows us what's in currently in the in the system. It shows the last time it was set. Well, it hasn't been set before. Um, it shows us the real-time clock is set to a particular date, and the system date now is set to the same as the uh, real-time clock. And another thing uh, which is available in the software is you can uh, set a message because there's a bit of extra RAM that's available there. And if you use the four slash M option, then in the message you can set the message in the in the actual RAM and then when you use the 4-slash-g at the top of the three dates there's the the message which you set and it's just like just I didn't know what else to do with the memory so I just I used it for that facility so if I now shut down the system and I'll actually uh, completely power off the Raspberry Pi so it simulates there's no power going to the device at all Okay, now I'll unplug it. So now there's completely no power there. And I'll leave it unplugged for just for a couple of seconds just to make sure that there's no way that there can be any residual power rem uh, remembering the date and time. And I'll plug it back in again and allow it to boot up and it should automatically set the date and time for the booted Raspberry Pi. And we can, all I'll do is I'll execute the forward slash G option and uh, it should then show us what the date and time is currently because it will have retrieved it at boot time from the module and to retrieve it at boot time start a cron job um, add a cron job with a app reboot option and when it boots up then it will execute the command so that's already been set up so if I go down here forward slash g and the system time is uh, is the same as the real time clock time and it shows just a few few seconds ago at uh, 22 seconds uh, it, that was when it was last set, so that was when it was booting up, it ran the forward slash s command. So what I'll do now is I'll shut down again and I'll boot up using OpenLEC, the XBMC, to show it working in there as well. Okay, in XBMC the date and time is displayed at the top, so I'll just remove this from the display as it is. Uh, I'll swap over the SD card with my XBMC SD card 
and power back up. And when XBMC boots up, um, the time and date should display correctly in the top right hand side of the display. I found that um, OpenLEC, I can run startup program, so it's I can use this on OpenLEC, but for some reason when I last used um, the Raspberry MC, it, it didn't actually seem to want to run other people's programs, so I sort of recommend OpenLEC for this particular uh, feature, and the date and time in the top right hand corner is correct, and so you can use this in XBMC, OpenLEC, Media Player, or any Linux distribution.